Synthetic extending rigging. Does it work? Does it hold up? Should you have it? What is synthetic extending rigging? It is simply plastic rigging instead of steel rigging. That's it. So instead of having a rigging made out of steel cables, it's made out of this really, really fancy plastic. It's strong, it doesn't corrode, and it's just gonna last a really long time. So let's move on to the first thing, longevity. How long does this stuff last? So we all know with steel rigging, it lasts 10 years or 10,000 miles, whichever comes first. So if you're doing long distance cruising, you're gonna hit that 10,000 mile mark really, really fast. We've only been cruising full time for three and a half years, and this stuff has 15,000 nautical miles on it. So what that means is if we had steel rigging, we would be halfway through our second rig. But instead, we're still going on the first rig that we have, which is actually six years old. So even though our rigging isn't at the 10 year mark, it's definitely earned its mark as being better than steel when it comes to the number of miles that we've sailed. So the fact that we haven't had to replace it yet is already winning compared to steel rigging. Now, once we hit the 10 year mark, we'll be sure to let you guys know, but we got four years to go on that, so. So while our rigging hasn't hit the 10 year mark, it's already surpassed what steel can do in number of miles sailed. If you plan on actually doing really long distance cruising, it's a no brainer to go synthetic because it's going to outlast steel just in the miles sailed. And if you think about it, a circumnavigation, if you go straight around the equator, not you know around the continents that are gonna be in your way, it's 24,000 miles. That means you're going to have to do two re-rigs on your circumnavigation. And then if you're gonna be going, you know, not through the canals and you're gonna be going the long way, you're gonna have a lot of re-rigs on your way. Whereas if you're synthetic, you just keep sailing. You just keep an eye out for the big issues. Whoopee. Good, Charlie. So synthetic sounds great. It can't rust, it lasts a long time, it's really strong, it's really lightweight. What are its problems? Well, chafe. If your sheets rub on it or you got gear rubbing up against it, stuff can happen and it'll just saw right through the stuff and then you end up with problems. Now chafe is a big concern, but it's easy to spot because your beautiful synthetic stay starts to look like this. And when it looks like this, you know that it's time to fix something there. So all you need to do is correct whatever's chafing, stop it from chafing any further, and then protect the area. Now, if it's gotten too major, then you do have to replace that stay and then make those other corrections as well. But there are some areas where chafe is just gonna happen. And no matter how much you try to not have the chafe occur there, it's gonna happen. So those areas, you simply protect them. That way they're ready for chafe and then they don't get damaged. One of the areas that's gonna get chafed is your head stay because you have the sail hanked onto it. So when the sail's moving and pulling and everything, that's chafe. That is pure, hard, rough chafe right on your head stay, which is a super important stay, which is why you put a chafe sleeve on and areas that are like extra load, you wrap them in service. Like it's, it's that simple. You know where the chafe is gonna happen, so you then protect it for the chafe and then it doesn't get chafed. So pretty much, synthetic standing rigging. It's stronger, it's lighter, it lasts longer, it's more durable, and it can't corrode. It's wonderful. Now after having sailed for 15,000 miles, there are some changes that I would do to the setup that we have. No matter how much you try to not have your sheets rub on the stays, it's gonna happen at some point. And therefore, the cap shroud and the forward lower, those two guys are gonna get rubbed by the jib sheets. Put chafe sleeve on them, the whole thing. Just cover them up, that way they're protected. So another big issue that comes up is how long does it hold its tune? Like, what's the issue there? And the honest truth is, now this is gonna make me sound really lazy, but I haven't tuned this rigging since we left. So it's been three years and 15,000 miles on the same tune. Now the second part is durability. So you're in a marine environment. It's, everything is corrosive, and moist and just the worst possible thing you can have for a boat. And that's what you're gonna subject your steel rigging to. So it's going to rust and it's gonna corrode and it's gonna crack and it's just gonna die. Now that is where synthetic rigging shines because being how it's made out of plastic, it doesn't corrode. So you don't have to worry about corrosion. Now, while you're exempt from the corrosion issues, you get two problems to deal with. One is UV, the other is chafe. With UV, they found in testing that 
it really doesn't actually destroy the polymer. It's not UV resistant, but the outer layer of it dies and then protects everything inside. So it kind of forms a skin and then you're good to go. And if you're curious how big this outer layer is, it is the outer 0.1 micron. So when you have a nine millimeter stay, nothing of it is killed by the UV and then the rest is fine. So they found in long-term testing that UV actually doesn't play a big role in the Dyneema's life. Now the big issue that does come in is chafe. So with chafe, you need to worry about lines chafing on it, gear chafing on it, just stuff in general rubbing on your rigging because the chafe is what'll tear it apart. In all our time and all our models, we haven't had much of an issue with chafe because we simply route the sheets in a way that they don't chafe on the rigging. So we don't trim for perfect sail performance, we trim for the longevity of the rigging and just ease in our case. So some take home points, we have sailed one and a half lifetimes of steel rigging on this synthetic rigging. We've had no corrosion and it's much lighter weight. So synthetic extending rigging is kind of a no brainer. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.